everybody, Corey here with Lawless Drums, and today I'm going to be talking about a concept called backbeat fills. Now, this is not a new concept by any means, but I feel like it's often overlooked by a lot of beginner to intermediate drummers and can really make the difference in getting and not getting a gig. So what do I mean when I say backbeat? I'm talking about the crack of the snare on two and four. I'm talking about the steady pulse going throughout all pop, rock, blues, funk, country, most modern day music, you're gonna hear the crack of the snare on two and four consistently throughout the song. It anchors the rhythm section. People are gonna clap to it on the dance floor. At least we really hope they clap on two and four. Either way, it's a key ingredient in most modern music. So what do I mean when I say backbeat fill? Simply put, you're keeping that pulse going on the snare on two and four while creating a fill within it. So what happens with a lot of beginner drummers when it comes time to transition a song or add a little bit of texture throughout with a fill? Oftentimes we lose that pulse. We go right into one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, et cetera. So, what these fills are gonna do is help keep the whole band flowing. It's gonna almost be like it never happened, but you're gonna feel it. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be silky smooth, buttery, you name it. So I'm gonna start you out with three fills right here. Great. Now that we've got the concept down, it's time to go ahead and create your own fills. When you're practicing this, I recommend creating a groove and sticking to that groove. I'm talking note for note. Every kick drum hit, snare hit, ghost note, hi-hat choke, stick to it. When it comes time to fill, go back into that groove after you're done and play it note for note each time. Play to a metronome, always start slow, and remember, have fun. Take care, guys.